New photos from the White House show the president's working quarters at Walter Reed Medical Center. It's the same place that he's had visitors outside all weekend and even paid them a visit last night. But questions are looming over how he's actually feeling. So joining me now to brief us on the latest is NBC's Tracy Potts from the hospital. Good morning, Tracy. Hey, Maureen, good morning. So here's the news uh, this morning. The White House doctor says that President Trump is improving, possibly uh, able to go back to the White House to be released today, but we're still waiting on confirmation of that. His doctors say that his vital signs are stable, but outside doctors not involved in the president's care say that the type of treatment he's getting is not typical for someone who's doing well with this virus. These are new pictures released late last night of President Trump working inside Walter Reed Hospital after a brief drive by outside to thank supporters. Doctors say the president could be released today. A high fever and low oxygen levels over the weekend led doctors to give him oxygen and a steroid typically reserved for the sickest COVID-19 patients. We're getting great reports from the doctors. The president's condition vastly different from the mild symptoms reported Friday. I was trying to reflect the, the, uh, the upbeat attitude that the team, the president, that his course of illness has had. Um, and in doing so, uh, you know, it came off uh, that we were trying to hide something, which wasn't necessarily true. Democrats are concerned the White House isn't telling the whole story. When it comes to something as vital as this, the health of the president, the health of the people around him. We need to go the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The White House trying to portray the image of a commander in chief still hard at work. Secretary Pompeo, myself, will be giving him a national security brief uh, uh, this afternoon from, from the White House here. He'll be at Walter Reed, so we'll do it by secure uh, video conference or secure phone. He was very animated in our half hour long conversation and ready to get back up, out to the campaign trail. But that's on hold as the world's most watched patient continues treatment. Also this morning, NBC News has confirmed that in addition to the president's personal aide, there were two members of the White House resident staff who tested positive for COVID-19. That was weeks ago. Uh, but according to those sources, they were not in direct contact with the president or the first lady.